BBOT, Big Brother on Time. We do our updates every weekday morning at 7.35 or 8.35 and 8.35 or as close as we can get there. Uh, I missed it last night because I was doing a gig in a secret location. <laughs> secret gig. <laughs> secret can't, gig. No, we don't like to talk about it. No. Um, and we can't. But, so... <laughs> we were there with 10 cups over we soon. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, uh, a right good time. So, so you... Uh, you watched it obviously last night. It's nine o'clock on uh, Wednesdays, yes. isn't it? So yes. it's a more civilized hour, James. Yes, totally, totally civilized. Yes. Okay. Please proceed. Okay, shall I start? Yes. My man is coming forward. I told you I'm fickle. I'm a woman, but I still love Brian. He's yes. doing really well, and didn't he stand up well to Charlie? Fantastic, really? top boy. I'd say go down to the betting shop this morning. And go and put a tenner on him, mate. Yeah, because those odds are going to drop, aren't they? Big time. He's going to win. Yeah. The boy's going to win He's it. the only bloke or person in the house that stood up mm -hmm. and fronted Charlie and Billy. It was absolutely horrendous. The argument that we played yesterday morning on the breakfast show yeah. was was obviously on the 9 to the ten nine to 10 show last night. Was that the highlight of the 9 to 10 show? Yeah. And I spoiled it by playing it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, but it was good because we're all <laughs> getting ready to watch it. Oh, OK. And I think the Essex flags are, are going to be flying now. But you should, from Essex. you should have seen the way he charged around because you know he's got those long thin legs. He looked yeah. like John Cleese charging around. The yeah, building. he was up and panting. And yeah, and he was like building up for it, meditating, oh, walking yeah. around. He did incredibly well. I was really like yes. gunning for him. And he, and he said, Why don't you just shut up? It's, it's not only you two in the house, we're all in here as well. We're fed up with it. Yeah. Oh, he'd done really well. And Jonathan um, consoled him after and said, You've done really well with that, the way you've done it. And they all shut up, you know. Mm. Even Charlie. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And what about the next thing? I Actually, I've just read in the paper, so it must be true. Jonathan's leaving. He's asked to leave. Why? Because he's getting married on Saturday. And he told them that he'd scrapped his marriage plans, but obviously he hadn't. So this is a fabulous bit of advertising going in there, because he feels he's one big brother now anyway. What if they don't let him out, Suze? You cannot kidnap people, Jay. <laughs> throw him in the corner and hold everyone to ransom well, he's allowed to leave i might have a clip that <laughs> might be about him oh, saying really? that he wants to leave and oh. he doesn't mention anything about a wedding saturday oh really so oh. that might be just the papers oh but he definitely had get, um cancelled it supposedly because he said he had in his first thing didn't oh he? well the well, elderly people i think are getting migraines because of all the shouting and all the roaring <laughs> the charlie and the billy so yes. maybe he's thinking, I've got the big Air migraine plugs. I need to Shall leave. we do the clip now? Shall we, yes, I was going to play this in the next yes. This is Jonathan there, and he comes out after seeing Big Brother. Right. And he explained, he didn't really want to tell everyone in the house because he didn't want to make a big deal about it. Right. But he feels he should, and this is what he said to the people in the house okay. after seeing Big Brother, saying he wants out of there. Mm. I've just asked Big Brother to let me go tomorrow. What? Yeah. Why would I? 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 Why would well, I thought it could be quite negative and all that sort of stuff. What, because, because I'm not feeling negative, so I thought, I thought actually, well, why not? Well, why not tell you? And I, I'm not not for sympathy or anything, but just to tell you, because it would be awful if I sculpted off and didn't tell you. Yeah, well, I'd be sure. Yeah. Why do you feel like this? It is, I feel like this because um, I was walking around with Brian this morning, funny enough, and I'm not wearing Brian. <laughs> 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 we were having a lovely chat, weren't we? Yeah, and we can I was saying I couldn't. And the thing I couldn't understand was why I was here, really, because I. I've actually, uh, you know, I'm very egotistical, very much a show-off and all that stuff, and, and put basically everything completely up in the air. And um, in order to get on this thing, <coughs> because it's such a big audience, and, uh, I, you know, I love it, and I think it's brilliant, and I've, I'm really enjoying it, actually. But I could not understand why or how I could be so reckless with, with my life and, and, and to do this, because I, I clearly am very selfish. And I, then I would talk to Brian, we were talking about life in general, and I suddenly thought to myself, do you know what, when it gets to the end of this, even if I got right to the end of it, I'd wake up the next morning and have to do it again. I'd have to keep doing this for the rest of the There you go. Louis. Man power, what's there wrong with go. him? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Wow, well, what an excuse. Again. He's getting the migraines, yeah. he can't handle it all in there. He can't yeah. hack it, that's why he wants out. 
got a clip in the next hour of the twins and Big Brother asks them to do a task and they might or might not do the task and it's quite eerie. Oh, the cheeky girls. I'm looking forward to I that think then. Like the cheeky girls, don't you? Yeah, I think we need to take more from the twins. It's nothing like the cheeky girls. Oh, they are they giving it large? They can they have want it. to be the cheeky girls. No, all I say is she's quite spooky. Ooh, okay. She's quite spooky. Ooh. So we'll get into that in the next hour. In summary, though, in, in, in finishing in this okay, bit, is in, there anything? Yes, oh. in summary, just very quickly. Um, Jenny said in the diary room, what sort of food is this? Because they're on rations, okay? Slop. And basically, this is called slop. It's called slop. It's like rice pudding, lentils and Weetabix all mixed in one. Nice. <laughs> okay, oh, and he said, I don't like slop. Give me some more food. I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> and what did Big Brother say? No. Well, what? No, but what got me was Laura's going. Oh, I don't like this. Pretended to throw up like everyone else, but I don't think she did. Because no, remember, she's worried about her waistline. She that's it. She didn't throw up. She's lost two stone nearly though. But no. Brian, where? There's somewhere. I don't believe but you. But Brian was physically sick. Yeah, it is repulsive. He was physically yeah. sick. Yeah. That's not nasty. He can't control his functions very well, that boy, can he? No. Anyway, uh, we'll have our next BB update at 8.35.